Well, we got beat by a more athletic team, better team, and uh, we had so many, so many self-inflicted wounds today. Um, you know, it's just something that wasn't, uh, you know, wasn't good. You know, we had opportunities to make plays, didn't make them, uh, both offensively, defensively, and on special teams. And sometimes when it starts piling up, where those things don't happen, um, you know, you get you get uh, frustrated and do some things you shouldn't do, and that happened where we got a couple penalties that uh, shouldn't have had, but uh, um, you know, just got beat. Questions? I know you don't coach one team, but when they went to the fake field goal and then the last touchdown, is any of that kind of? Yeah, well, I, you know, Charlie came up to me afterwards and yeah. said we should. I said, Charlie, I got no problem with that. You know, I talk about playing every play like it's the last play you're ever going to play. And there's a great example. You got to do that. And we don't have guys doing that yet. You know, we're still in a process that, you know, it's hard. People might not want to hear it, but, uh, you know, I just, we got to keep going. We got to keep working and keep getting these guys to understand. Uh, every play is important. Uh, what you do uh, and how you execute is going to determine if you give yourself an opportunity to win. And we made too many mistakes today to give ourselves an opportunity to win. It's, it, it's not rocket science. And until we do that, we're going to put ourselves in a position uh, not to win. So, you know, we all, we all can do better. You know, it's a team thing. It's uh, everybody. And we're going to keep looking at, you know, keep looking at that and keep working. And that's all you can do. That's all you can do. Randy, you get a couple touchdowns in the first half, but every time after you scored, they came down the field and scored. That had to be disappointing. Yeah, it is. And um, again, I, I just uh, they, you know, they run, they ran the ball very well against us, and you know, we didn't fit it up correctly, and um, we didn't tackle nearly well enough, and um, you know, that was something that we got to continue to address and continue to work at and, and get better at. And, you know, again, you know, you, you try to get, you know, you think you maybe get some momentum back and then, you know, then you're back behind it again. And, uh, you know, those are the things that you, you can't do. And we let, um, we let some uh, plays out on special teams today on kickoff coverage, which we hadn't done. But again, there are some guys when you don't do what you're supposed to and Against a team like this, the margin of error is very, very small because of speed and athleticism. And so, you know, we weren't exact enough and we didn't uh, perform at a good enough level against the athleticism and speed that we went against today. I mean, we had, how many times did we have a quarterback, you know, in a situation and we couldn't make a play? You know, kids, kids tried, but there was an af there there was a guy there's a point in case where their athlete was better than ours and um, you know guys will you know learn from it and, and get better and you know that's all that's all we can do but we gotta we gotta stop giving up so many uh, so many big plays you know the explosive plays really really hurt us I mean they they had 503 yards and they only ran 64 plays so and again. We'll just, we'll just keep working. We'll just keep working. We'll keep getting better. We'll go back and watch the film, show them what they did right, show them what they did wrong, and, and work to get better. It seemed like Mike Beaudry had some good throws and some not so good throws. Overall, how would you evaluate his game? Just like everybody else, inconsistent. You know, we had a chance to, you know, we had a chance a couple times, and, you know, if he leads Matt, you know, that's a big play. Uh, he did make a couple, you know, made some nice throws, but just, just inconsistent. And, coming back and sometimes he's you know he hangs on to the ball a little bit too much and just take what they give you and, and move on and um, you know sometimes you know when there's one-on-one -on -one coverage let it fly and let the guy go try to make a play I mean everybody's not going to be open by five yards you know and then we had you know we had a couple drops too and, and everything else but that's where you know guys got to trust each other and they got to just know hey I trust him. He's going to go make a play, or at least he's going to do everything he can to make a play. And that's one of the things that you know uh, we got to get we got to get a lot better at.
Anything else? You think um, punting, I know you had a couple of tough decisions, punting the 37, punting the 40, when it's still a two-score game. Are those situations where you're automatically doing it? I think on the one that was third and seven, you probably would have gone for it, but you lost four. Well, some of it is the time, you know, the, how much time's left in the game. Yeah. And you want to try to, I, I, what I try to do, Neil, and now I just try to do what I think is best for our team. You know, when it's fourth and 12, it's hard to go for it, I think. And if we can punt the ball and pin them back and try to, you know, then you're saying, okay, defense, I'm trying to give you an advantage, make them go a long way. You know, and then after it doesn't work out, you, you say, oh, yeah, I should have gone for it. But, you know, in those situations, I just go by what the feel, the flow of the game and what I feel at that time in terms of, you know, and again, down in distance is a big thing. There were times I was going to go for it on fourth down. And then we take a sack or we lose yardage. So you put yourself in that situation and you say, hmm, and it's still early in the game and there's a lot of time, you know, left. So I, I don't I don't second guess any of that stuff. I just try to I just try to do what I think is right for our team in that moment. Um, what do you think of the way uh, Kevin played today with a big workload once again? Kevin Mensa plays very, very hard. Is that what you're talking about? Yeah. Yeah. Kevin plays very, very hard. Uh, we need more guys like him to go out and give that kind of effort and put in that kind of uh, time that he puts in to make himself the kind of player that he is. And again, he's older and he's played, but he has, you know, we got, again, we got so many, I mean, if you look out there and you see so many, so many young guys and there's some guys that, uh, you know, I mean, we, we, we could have had more yardage running the ball and then they tried to throw more guys in the box to stop that in the second half, and then we just uh, didn't get things done in the passing game. But I, Kevin's got to give you everything he has. You know, you don't have to worry about that. He's got to, he's got to play hard, and football is important to him.